what's poppin y'all this is your boy rich beats welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna show you guys how to make a website for a recording studio business i feel like if you know how to mix and master and you have some equipment then you know you got what you need to start a local recording business until it grows big if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe because i do a whole lot of producer content so we're gonna be using wordpress and if you don't know how to set up wordpress there's a link up there click up on that link just post this video set up wordpress right quick and then come back so as you can see i'm on my wordpress right now it's clean there's nothing installed so what we're gonna use is the elemental template kit you know uh, i've spoken about elemental in my previous video saying that i feel like it's a really good platform to develop things that don't have limits you know you can really integrate so many stuff so you're gonna be using elemental meaning that the first thing you're gonna do is is select the elemental theme which is free so you're gonna go to appearance go to themes and then currently we have this current wordpress themes the default ones we don't want this ones gonna go to add new then we look for hello elemental if you can see just search for it then click install once it's done installing click activate okay cool then you're gonna see at the top it's gonna say thank you for installing elemental click on that button to install the elemental plugin okay then click on activate plugin Okay, cool so here you can just connect your email this is the free version we don't need to do anything or you can just skip and then you know now you need to give your website the name so the name let me just use m roger beats is fine so m roger beats that's the name of my site next i have to put in a logo well i don't have a logo yet so i'm gonna skip it for now do you want to use templates or do you want to start with a blank canvas i want to use a blank canvas Okay, cool now we got this black canvas we're gonna click there on this three hamburger buttons click on exit and then decide later click on the wordpress button go back to the home click on the dashboard now you're gonna click on the link in the description video that's the elemental template kit that i've created uh for you so you can just click one button and install so there is the link so click on the link and it will bring you to this place it will tell you it's an elemental kit for recording studio you know and here's some images of how it will look at the end and then this just you know you can read here on how to get started and just click on add to cart and then view cart and then you're gonna proceed to check out but i have a discount running which is like 30 uh, percent off and the discount code is in the description below just check it out so there's also an alternative way to do this free without paying in for anything but that would take you know a longer time and more effort from you so which is why on this video i'll just be using this prepared kit that i made for you so if you want to do it step by step without using any template kits just leave a comment so after when the file is downloaded then you're gonna go come back to your wordpress dashboard you're gonna go to templates and go to elemental and look for tools then you click on tools and you're gonna go to import so you're gonna import the kit so you're gonna click on start import select file then you're gonna go look for the file that you downloaded I think it's uh where did i put that file there it is i'm gonna click open so you can see it says that okay for you to use this thing you will need to install this plugins to contact form 7 and wp pop-up contact form just leave them selected click next and then click next just wait for it now it's activating the plugins so there it is it's done so before we check anything let's just click on see it live then you're gonna see how it looks oh there it is perfect look at that 
Ah man, everything is here, even the pictures. Just look at that. Okay, so a couple of things we're still gonna fix them, like the buttons here, you know. So we're just gonna scroll down and see how it looks. So this is dope. So you see already you have this to work with. All you gotta do is just change a couple of things. Okay, these are the projects that you have worked on, and this is the map here. Okay, cool. So let's start editing it so it can be for M Roger Beats. You know, so I'm gonna go to edit with Elemental. Then now here we can just double click on it, then you can edit it, or you can see it on this side. Once you once you click on it, it will show on the side if you want to type there. Then you can just say M Roger Beats, and then if you want to change the text color, just click on Style. Then you can change whatever color, but I think white looks dope. I'm gonna leave it as white. If you want to change the font by typography, click Edit. You can select whatever font you want. I like this font. This is just a subtitle. I'm gonna leave it like that because that's the in Johannesburg, so that still matters. And then here, when it says see more, this is the button for see more. You know, so you can just click on it. If you want to change the color for the button, simple. Go there to style. And then here's the. This is the background color. So you're gonna come here and you can change it to whatever color you want. You know, black doesn't look bad as well. And then you see when I hover, it becomes transparent. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna uh, let's see what was the previous color before? Ish. Okay, it's this one. I'm just let me copy this one and take it back there because I like that previous color. So when I hover over it, I'm gonna make it black. So you'll see now. Oh no, that was, I changed the text color. I'm supposed to be changing the background color now which is transparent as you can see so if it's transparent you will see here it shows this transparent background type of thing just make sure you drag this all the way to where there is color black so yeah all the way to the right and then now you see when you do it's black but it's still not as trans it's uh solid there we go perfect now we can scroll down the about us same thing if you want to edit just click there you edit find to edit you know your about you and the picture so you just click on it as well and then you select the picture then you can upload or select any picture that is uploaded here currently this just only this for maybe now i want to change it make this one see there you go that's how it is now there's the services this will depend on the services that you offer so you just click on it and you can be able to edit anything even the icon you can edit it you know so yeah it's pretty straightforward just click on whatever change the text the same way we edit the headings you know and even the color here you go to style you can change the color of it so this code here wppc button this is the contact form because when i when they click inquire the contact form pops up so this one you can just leave it here because it is supposed to be there for the contact form if you re remove it contact form is not going to be there here's the gallery you can uh change your Okay, let me close that. Click on the gallery again. You can change, you can add more pictures here. And you can change whether you want it to be a light box or what. You can change your order, you know, for that. Okay, even the design, I'm sure you could. Just need to play around with it more. And then here's the recent project that you've worked on. So here, as you can see, it's just a SoundCloud a soundcloud embed playlist you know just check out how to do a soundcloud embed playlist it's very simple because you go to soundcloud you create a playlist of, of your songs that you've mixed and mastered you click on share and then you say embed then you click this code you copy the embedding code and then you place it here this is the this is my embedding code you know so yeah that's how that one works so you will just replace this one with yours you're gonna go to soundcloud and then because you see once you hover over the soundcloud playlist you click on the edit this code will definitely pop up if you don't see it it means it's closed but it's always here then you put it you replace it with yours or you could make it with any player but i think soundcloud is the best one then here this is, could be you know the people you've worked for you can just add in here if you don't want a section you can just click and close i mean the people you've worked yes you've done production for then here this is the address if you want to change it just click edit and then put whatever address you we you, you have if you don't have address you can remove it so yeah it's pretty simple to edit this website and then from there 
click update so now we need to go change the buttons the way they are so let's click after clicking update click on close then click on the w button so you can get out of there then you're gonna go to contact form you're gonna go to contact form then you're gonna click on pop-up so now we want to edit this pop-up so this is the form you click there the form then you scroll down then you're gonna go to button settings to here and then we change the text for the button currently is written contact us then you can just say uh, request pricing and you can make the button medium and the button color uh let's see button color back button background maybe the color is the text color right okay so the button background is make it black and the text is white it's fine when you hover over it maybe it can become red and button hover oh when you hover it it becomes white and then the button here can become red then you click save then click save then you're gonna go down we say showing the button you're gonna click and copy this you not click i mean just select and copy that i'm gonna replace that here you know so as you can see this is our home page you just click edit with elementor and you're gonna get here here where there's this code if you click on edit it will bring you to this section just replace that with the new one see and then all of them just replace the new one then click on update and okay let's check it now okay we can see the color has changed but it's not in the center so i have a code snippet that is in the description below there's a link there or it's in and you will just take that code and go to customize and then go to additional CSS and paste it here. Here's the code that you need to paste. I'll also put this in the description as well. And as you can see now, it's in the middle. So this code just moves this to the middle. Then you can move it anywhere you want. So you can make a 76, 77, depending on how you know where you feel like you want it to be so yeah that's it for now for this video and if you have any questions please uh, ask them in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to solve your problems so i'm out now and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace